And in this video, I'm going to have a go at using some of these mulled wine spices, not in a red wine, but with some of my homemade spirit. And I'm going to see how that tastes. Oh, and before you think, oh my god, he's so lazy, he hasn't even bothered putting on a Christmas jumper. Well, Merry Christmas time! Oh yeah! So here we go. If you're interested, there's the listed ingredients and also the process. Now with me, obviously, I didn't follow this process with uh, the red wine and also I admitted the use of the freshly sliced orange and also I didn't serve it warm. But never mind, let's get going. So for my first effort, I'm going to use 750 ml of my blackberry infusion at 40% ABV. It's a real nice deep rich flavour, so this should work okay. I then add into this two of the mould spice sachets. Uh, this is quite handy because they just come in a tea bag form. And then also two tablespoons of the brown sugar. I give this a little stir up and set it to one side to infuse for four to five hours. Okay, and onto my second effort. I've got 200 millilitres of water heating up there, and I add in again two sachets of the mulled spice, and also two tablespoons of the brown sugar. So I leave this to simmer for about 10 minutes, and then remove it from the heat and leave it to cool right down. So there we go, the cold infusion is ready to go. The sugar's dissolved and the sachets have been removed. And it's just a case of bottling it up. So 750 ml of the mulled blackberry cold infusion at 40% ABV is done. And next up is the 200 ml of the mulled spice syrup that's cooled down. And then I add to this 550 ml of more of my blackberry infusion at 40% ABV which will make, again, another 750ml bottle of mulled blackberry infusion. But this one is down at 30% ABV. And here we are at the end of the video, and as per usual, I have my final product, the Mulled Spice Blackberry Infusion. Yeah, hey, look at that. Well, it looks a little bit more like um, vampire's piss, really, but there we go. And if you haven't seen the video that I made about uh, the very simple blackberry infusion, then I'll drop a link in the description below about how I made that. Oh, now this has been sat resting for a couple of days, and I'll tell you what, oh, my ball balls are jangling with excitement about tasting this. Right, here we go. Let's try the cold infusion first I think this is at 40% cheers and he did certainly hold a Christmas miracle aloft <laughs> that is clearly unreal that's come out fan dabba dozy very spicy very spicy just cold infusion, just left for a few hours. It's done its job. Real, kind of very nice and peppery in there as well. Right, ho oh, yippee-pee. Onto the syrup-based infusion, so. Oh yeah. God, that is fantastic again. But, believe it or not, this one, is a lot more peppery and spicier than the one that was infused with the warm water. Let me just double check that a second. Yeah, no, it is right. Wow. I am so impressed with these two. Absolutely brilliant end product there. This will definitely be on the hit list of tipples over the festive period. And there we go. Thanks ever so much for watching, and until next time, make sure you keep on shining.